boys at the Fargo Moorhead Walleye Group. Supposed to be coming down to do a muskie seminar, but we figured we'd do a little flip. We're going to talk about lake trout today. What do you think, Gotch? Well, it's freezing outside right now, ice cold, got to be about minus 35, and with windshield, probably minus 300. It's freezing outside, but I'll tell you, the lake trout action is absolutely heating up. Staple, you got us on a golden lake here. We've been fishing here the last couple weekends and absolutely lighting them up. What do you think is going to happen today, Craig? I'll tell you what, there's going to be some tanks caught. I've been bugging Randash to come down, I've been bugging Kula, all the boys. Going to have to give all the American guys an open invitation to come up here. You know what, folks, and everything too, Craig, uh, those guys down from the States and the Fargo Moorhead Association or Walleye Association, they're going to change it to the Fargo Moorhead Trout Association. But you guys down in America, down in the States, I don't know if you notice it, but your boats aren't going to work up here this time of year. Bring the four-wheelers, bring the quads, leave the boats at home. Hey, looking forward to a great day with Craig Stapon and Jason Goche and, of course, the Fargo Moorhead Walleye Association. Stay tuned for some fatties. <laughs> Well, Hamilton, here we are. We're at Stapon's Cabin getting ready to do a little bit of lake trout fishing tomorrow in beautiful northwestern Ontario. Are you excited? I'm very excited. It proves to be a good weekend, a little bit warmer weather than we had last weekend, so things are looking good. Well, we're looking at the clock on the wall, and it is, uh, well, it looks like it's uh, 5 to 11. What time do you want to get up tomorrow? 6 o'clock? Earlier? Let's do 5. 5 o'clock? Okay, 5 o'clock sounds good. So get up and, uh, and then, well, what about coffee? So quarter to 5 and uh, look. We're looking pretty good at the map, uh, looking at some different areas, so let's uh, keep those under our hat until we can show you, show you folks at home what uh, we pull out of the hole tomorrow. I'm, uh, I'm really excited about it. We'll have a couple bubbly pops and uh, maybe a, a soda pop or two, and, uh, and then we're ready to go. So quarter to five, that gives us a good six hours of, of relaxing and, uh, and snoozing and up at it early. I'm excited. Quarter to five doesn't... I, let's go 4.30. No? Let's do it. 4.30? All right, we have 4.30. We want to be out there. We don't want anybody to take your spots. We want to be the first ones, though, so we got to get up and at them early. Okay, 4.30 in the morning. Perfect. All right. All right, buddy. Let's have a couple soda pops at 4.30. We'll have coffee on. Leave the, we'll leave the cabin by 5, and we'll, uh, we'll be on the water by 5.30. Perfect. All right, Hamilton, let's, uh, let's get some Lakers. Signing off. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Well, Hamilton, 20 to 9 on a beautiful Saturday morning. We're going lake trout, and what? Uh, I guess we just zoom by the 4:30 wake-up call. What the hell happened there? Well, sometimes you look at the weather conditions, you look at the temperature. <laughs> there's no sense getting up at 4:30. Yeah, good call. Because the fish aren't going to be active anyway. So what we're doing, we're taking a nice leisurely approach. It's the weekend. This is the holidays. There's no sense working like a dog. Absolutely. So let's get up, have a leisurely breakfast. Saw a fish come in at uh, about 20 feet under the ice. And, uh, nice laker, nice big laker. This is what the uh, result Ooh. was. That's the beauty, buddy. And take a look down there. Look at how he ate that tube jig. He wanted it. There's no mistaking when that guy hit. It's a barbless hook. It should come out real easy. Oh, he's got some sharp teeth. Yeah. And? We'll put it right back down the hole. We have some little ones we're going to eat tonight. We're going to bake up in the fire, and this guy here. That's a 10, that's, plus, that's 12, 15, eh? It's getting there. What well, do you figure, guys? Well, buddy, I'll tell you, we've been waiting, and we're, uh, we figured we had the Fargo Moorhead walleye, the curse on us, but I'll tell you, here he comes. We got a lake. <laughs> this is better than standing in a Newton right. Don't want to go. Oh. There you go. Right? Yeah. 
Let's bring him up, buddy. Come on up, my friend. I'll tell you what, folks. Like Craig said earlier in the film, northwest of Ontario, if you want to get some nice lake trout, there's the beauty. We'll give a little, uh, a little kiss. And back she goes, folks. But I'll tell you, it's well worth the wait. She wants to go back. All right, folks, here we are. Beautiful big laker. There's a big one. Mark Rummel, Manitoba Muskie. Got him? He's got himself a beauty, folks. Check out this one. Northwestern Ontario. There you have it, folks. A cannon. Woo! I'm telling you, folks, you got to get right. up here. Absolutely incredible lake trout fishing, and you always got the shot at a cow. Way to go, Mark. Ah, beauty. I just lose me. Let's get it back. There you go, folks. Another northwestern Ontario beautiful lake trout. How fast putting a smackdown on a beautiful laker. Mark, I was going, Mark, is that you? Is that you coming up? And he goes, No, he says not. So I stopped it, pulled the bail, and she just absolutely annihilated it. Beautiful. What a beautiful fish, eh? All right, we're gonna get her back, boys. Right on. Fish with my good buddy Dutch, and uh, we got another beautiful lake trout here. And I'll tell you, Dutch is hammering this one. How's it feel, Dutch? Uh, not that big, I think. We're using the ultra modern ultra light because uh, <laughs> one of the rods fell apart yesterday, so we put together a crappy rod for a nice lake trout here. And uh, well, it looks like Dutch is bringing him in. Yeah, uh, he's there. He's under the ice now. It's a matter of fine tuning. <laughs> used to fishing there. That's a good one, buddy. There you go. Check it out, folks. A nice lake trout from uh, Northwestern Ontario and tied by the Dutch Uninot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to let it go, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, buddy. Catch and release, my friend. Let's have a quick look for the camera. Quick look for the camera. That's a lively one. Let's see. Check out the colors in that, buddy. There you go, Dutch. All right, buddy. Now give him a kiss. Give him a kiss, Dutch. Right on, buddy. Hey, how do you like that, Dutch? It's nice. It's beautiful. Good job catching that nice you know, lake trout. A couple of fish like that a day. Excellent. It's beautiful. Good job, Great. buddy. Once again, here we are in Northwestern Ontario with Ryan Spruill and his son Brock. Congratulations, buddy. You caught that. Ryan, how do you do fighting it? Brock did a pretty good job of this. You know what? Actually, we were actually having a pretty slow start to the day here, and Brock wanted to change it up and decided uh, to get rid of the tube jig and go with the Northland buckshot. And uh, as soon as he dropped that down, he, he got he got hit right off the hop here. So he had That's a really good fight. He, he thought he couldn't get it in, but uh, he did pretty good there, Brock. What do you think? Good. I'm going to use the same hook again. You want to use the same hook again? Go catch another fish? Well, there you have